Hello and welcome back to another Huber Help math video. This one is going to be on multiplying binomials. Okay, so we might have something that looks like x plus 3. This right here is a binomial because it has two terms. All right, it has a variable x and also a constant 3. But today we're going to be looking at two binomials. So I'll use another binomial. Maybe let's say x plus 7. And we are going to multiply these two binomials together. To do this, we remember the acronym FOIL, F-O-I-L. This helps to remember our steps when multiplying two binomials. The F stands for first. Okay, and that says we multiply these first two terms. The O stands for outside. So we multiply our two outside terms. I stands for inside. So we multiply these two inside terms. And the L stands for last. We multiply our two last terms. All right, so basically we want to multiply all the terms by each other. Keeping our FOIL acronym in mind, let's go ahead and give this one a try. The F stands for first, so we want to multiply these first two terms, which would be X times X. The O stands for outside, so we'll multiply our outside two terms, which in this case would be x times 7. The i stands for inside, which would be 3 times x. And our last terms would be 3 times 7. So let's go ahead and multiply. x times x is going to give us x squared. x times 7 is going to give us 7x. 3 times x is going to give us 3x. And 3 times 7 is 21. And now we can combine our like terms. If you don't remember how to do that, you can go back and watch one of my other videos on combining like terms. But when we combine 3x plus that 7x, we should get 10x plus 21. And that right there is how you would multiply two binomials. All right, so notice we went from having two binomials to our answer being one trinomial.